On this Thursday morning, now we want to talk now about the farewell mass service set for Cardinal Francis George. That's right. Thousands are expected at Holy Name Cathedral and along the route to his final resting place. The Cardinal's being remembered, of course, as a strong leader and for his brave fight against polio and the cancer which eventually took his life. Our Anita Padilla is live at Holy Name. And Anita, tell us what we can expect today. Well, we know that at noon today will be that funeral uh, that will take place here at Holy Name Cathedral. But we're kind of in a little bit of a lull right now here at Holy Name Cathedral. We've got a big bus in the way. It's always about timing with these live shots. But here we have got uh, Holy Name Cathedral, very quiet. And we've got a number of police officers, which I'll probably show you in just a moment. But, you know, all, uh, all night long, all day long yesterday. And, you know, just the last three days, we've seen a number of people come here to pay their final respects to Cardinal George. Clearly, this is a man who meant so much to so many people, whether they were religious leaders or just everyday parishioners. I was a very humble person, very uh, willing to serve, to listen, very uh, knowledgeable, and he was just wonderful. To me, he was just a wonderful person. And you can see right now there are a number of police officers standing by. This is all part of what will be uh, directing traffic for today's funeral as there are going to be a number of dignitaries here. We know that the mayor is going to be here, the governor is going to be here, and religious leaders from all around the city, the state, and all around the country are coming here to pay their final respects to Cardinal George. And that is partially why we saw them doing a security sweep yesterday and again today. Reporting live from Holy Name Cathedral, Anita Padilla, Fox 32 News, back to you.